So how do you implement a business model? This is a question I got asked during the week by one of my colleagues and or my network and so the first thing I need to you need to ask yourself is well what is a business model? Like you need to know what a business model is before you can implement it. So I went on a journey with this person just to explain to them what a business model is and then how do we fit it into their unique circumstances, right? And see it changes depending on the size of your business. There's many different theories, there's many different models, the business cam canvas model, different types of models. The bigger you get, the more you want to disrupt. But if you want to keep it simple, which I always advise people do, is break it down into a few key components. So I like to break it down into three components, right? And the first one is that, is knowing your value proposition and how you deliver that to your customers. So that's all the outward parts and components of your business but it's really important to understand what your customers want in the beginning before you do anything about it right because you want to make sure you're delivering the value that they expect and that they want in the right quantity at the right time at the right quality right so it's not like the film the fields of dreams where you say let's build it and they will come no you really have to get very specific and the knowledge you need to know about what your customers want so then you give it to them so it's all about initially understanding your value proposition. And once you do that, it's all about how can you deliver that? What are the activities you need to do in your business to deliver that? So that's all the, the selling, the marketing, the marketing intelligence, the distribution, whatever that is. That's number one, right? Because you need to know where you're going and what you're doing before you define what it is you're going to produce. So that leads me on to part two, and that's all the inward activities about what activities do you need to do to develop design develop build and operate those services or products you're going to supply and distribute to your marketplace so i like to break it down into those two components because it's so important to keep a clear picture of what is your customer's need if you keep going on doing the same thing you've always done you may miss the boat in terms of what your customers want you can't keep your head in the sand i call it the ostrich syndrome many companies do this and then all of a sudden they're not getting the sales anymore and they're wondering why the market aren't interested in their service and products and that's because they forgot to keep assessing what their customers want what their market wants what's the market intelligence telling them what's the macroeconomic scenarios tell them there's so many outward activities you need to understand before you start doing anything under the hood in your business so once you understand all those activities and they could involve suppliers as well if they supply or even make sub assemblies for your product or whatever it is you need to look at from the very first supplier all the way through your operations and that's one element and as i said the other, other element is when you actually deliver that service and keep assessing where the market is so that's the first few components and the third component is how do you continually optimize those two elements so how can you keep assessing are you delivering what your customer wants at the right time at the right quantity at the right quality right so how are you continually getting that market feedback and then also that's one element from your customers but then also what about what the market is telling you i've already mentioned that how do you know what the customers want what's the market how do you need to protect yourself going forward so that's all the outwork and also doing it as effectively and as efficiently as you can i've always talked about the cost of sales is substantial so how can you mitigate the cost of sales and increase your conversions and you do that by making sure you deliver what you want then the same on the internal side which are suppliers as well is how can you completely optimize that model so you're only doing the activities that they want you're not wasting your time doing other things i've often talked about the non-value added activities in business and how they can destroy it right so how can you optimize and making sure you're only focusing on value activities so it's all about optimizing them and then also on the outward side if you get if you're a larger business there's many as i said the business canvas canvas model is a great tool so you can then think do i need to disrupt the marketplace do i need to do something very different than my competitors are offering so you can look at the business canvas model all the different models that are there and go do you know what this one may suit me and then what are the different elements of that 
canvas that I need to put together to ensure I can deliver something special for my customers. I hope this makes sense. Please keep the questions coming in. I love answering questions and I love sharing what I do with other people as well. So please keep it coming. In the meantime, this is Shailene saying, have a great day.